So the garden's nearly finished. So I just thought I'd show you a little tour and some of my innovative slug defences, which seem to be working. Um, the main principle, of course, is that everything is surrounded by water. Doesn't completely stop them. Some of them manage to get across, but kind of one or two, like a normal garden. Um, that's all right. So there's my geraniums, and that's a rose bush that came from our old house. Um, I'm glad that's still alive. Uh, a flower, don't know what it is. Um, and then we've got some strawberries coming nicely. Um, again, that's kept most of the salt garden. You can see all the snails that have drowned in there. Um, <coughs> that's my bird feeding station. Um, so if we go up into the garden. So oh, I've got some heather down there. Seems to be happy down there for some reason. Don't know why. <coughs> so basically, the principle is in pots surrounded by water, or off the ground hanging, or in some cases both. Um, there's a little raised bed there. I haven't done anything with yet. Uh, this is more coming over now to the herby section. Oh, that's a nice kind of hanging arrangement that I built. I've uh, got some rosemary, parsley, thyme. Uh, there's lavender in there, which the bees are buzzing around. Um, and then this is more kind of like woody shrubs and stuff. The slug's not too interested. They take some of the leaves, but I'm not too fussed about that. Another little hanging thing. And then we've got radishes growing nicely. Some peppers, chilli peppers of different types. That one's looking a bit scraggy. They did manage to get to that one. But um, as you see, I've put a few slug pellets down. I had to in the end. I resisted as long as I could. But uh, there's not many in the garden, really. And it's just around some of the delicate ones. Uh, tomatoes, more chilli peppers. Uh, two little types of miniature cucumber. Uh, some more tomatoes, chives, a uh, nice flower. Um, now those aren't real, they're made of wood. Um, more chilies. There's some spring onions just beginning to sprout at the back there. And then the runner beans are here. And again, they've been nibbled, but they haven't actually destroyed them. Um, so this stuff is wool pellets which when they get wet um kind of form a mat and it does keep them off it does they don't like it um so i'm quite pleased with that um <clears throat> and that's more or less it you can see there although i did mow my lawn last week my neighbor hasn't so i consider that my no mow may contribution um and there we are Greenhouse is empty now. It's up there. There's nothing left in there. Everything's gone out. Um, oh, right at the top. Stuck in a few nasturtiums up there.